Hello and welcome, this is a quick tutorial, this is the project that you have at the end of it. you notice that the greens and purples are separate from one another and you'll keep momentum as you go through the portals. You can also dash through them as well. So let's get into it. This is the art I'll be using for the portal. I'll leave a link in the description as well as a link to the GitHub to the project. So I'll be carrying on from the screen shake tutorial. However, you could just easily apply this to your own project. But what I want you to do is make a new node, but it's going to be in the area 2D. Call that portal, create a collision shape 2D and an animated sprite. Make sure the collision shape covers your sprite. And what's really important is on the portal, you want to go to the node, go to your groups. And I want to know this as portal. Once we've got that, we're going to save it. Save it into your objects as portal. Now we're going to attach a script. Make sure it's in your script folder. I'll enter the code in. So our ID is going to determine which portals are linked together. So if there's two portals, it'll be zero and zero. If there's another two, it'll be one and one. And then we've got this function that we'll call from the player script saying, lock the portal that we've just come through and then make sure for 300 milliseconds that it won't trigger again. And then after those 300 milliseconds have passed, the portal is then be able to trigger. This stops us going through the portal and then straight back again. Now we're going to the player script and we've got one variable we want to put in. I'll just put it around about here. And this is the portal ID. And what this is going to do is determine which portal did we just go through, get the ID of that one, and then make sure we go to the next portal with that ID. Then we want to go down to on hit area. Now we're going to have to change this code. At the moment, if this touches any area, including the portal, we will actually camera shake, which we don't want. So I'm just going to copy over this. You'll notice area down here, do portal, we'll put the function in a minute, but I'm just going to explain what's going on above that. So what we're going to do is check that the area is in group of her player, that's the spikes. And then you'll notice we've got one else if this area is in group of portal, then we want to check that is the portal locked that we're currently going through, which is from here. And if it isn't, then do the portal. So let's put the do teleport function in. So do teleport checks for every single portal and it looks for another portal with the same ID with, of the one we've just gone through. If it finds one and it's active, then we go through the portal and we do that by setting the global position to the new portal that we're going to. So how it does this in code is it checks for every single portal in the node group portal. It makes sure that this portal that we're checking on is not the area which is the portal we've just been through. And if that portal matches the ID of the area we've just been through, then obviously this is a portal we want to go to. We make sure that that portal is not currently locked. And if it isn't, then we know that we should lock it. But after we've locked it, we'll go through it. And let's go back to the portal to see what's happening there. So what's happening is this has been called from the player. We've just locked this portal and the player is probably just touching as we've just locked it. Then we'll wait 300 milliseconds. And after that, we'll unlock the portal, which means we can go back through it again. And that's all the code we need. What I want to make sure you do is go back to the animated sprite, make sure that playing is actually untrue. And we're going to go back to the main and we'll just drag in two portals. Now, because the portals by default are actually on zero ID, they'll match automatically. However, if we put in a third, we'd have to change the ID. So let's just see how it plays. As you can see, it's working. So what if you wanted more than just two portals? Well, let's do that now. So let's drag two portals on, one in here, and let's just put one in here. And what I like to do is just highlight them both, and we'll go to the visibility, and we'll go to the modulator, and we'll just change it to a different color. Just so you know that if you go through one of these portals, you're not gonna end up in one of these. Then we should change the ID. So highlight them both again, and we'll just call them one. So let's make sure everything's working. We should be able to go for the purples without any issues. Yep, not a problem. But through the greens, same thing. Brilliant. So let's make sure we dash. Nice. So you could do stuff to extend this. You could add like a particle effect as you go through. Nice little whoosh sound too. But I'll leave that with you. So that concludes the end of this tutorial. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.